Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Inside Movies Galore. I'm your host, David Streggy, and today I have another review for you uh, for a film that is about to come out uh, by David Sterling uh, Entertainment, uh, but it is brought to us by cult cinema director um, William Colazzo Jr., who uh, uh, not too recently uh, has worked with David Sterling before on his. Um, theater um of blood uh film which uh, i not too recently uh, reviewed but um i was tasked with uh uh getting an early copy of this uh, film and i figured i'd uh I'll go on about uh, about it uh, and uh speak as much as i can about it so Oftentimes, Sean C. Felix, uh, who evidently is a collector like I am, uh, 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 he goes by a, um, a screen name of Cool Duder on uh, YouTube, and um, so he'll he'll send in um, little clips of horror stu uh, stuff dealing with maybe his films or what uh, whatnot because he's just evidently just that badass so uh we have clips of him in the very beginning and the very end and uh that's all i'm going to say about that part so ultimately we have a new actor um at least uh th that i have seen um uh that plays a Mr. Shiva uh, uh, that we later find out. Uh, but uh, his name is Mark C. Fullhart. And evidently his char uh, character ends up um, going up be uh, behind a nun who was played by Jessica Colazzo Thompson. Um, and uh, she is praying in a sanctuary of some sort. And she's got some kind of amulet that uh, uh, evidently Mark C. Fullhart's character takes. Uh, several uh, decades later, we have uh, three paranormal uh, investigators who evidently um, Punk is played by Carl J. Grasso. Um, he is evidently in love with Becky. Uh, e, who evidently keeps bringing along this uh, guy uh, by the name of, or gal, uh, uh, so, uh, so to speak, uh, called Rico Vega. And Rico Vega is played by Karen Lant, who is returning from the uh, Theater of Blood uh, as uh, somewhat uh gay seance you know medium <laughs> uh, for, uh, for the group and uh what ends up happening is uh, not only do these three end up at a haunted location but two other paranormal gr uh, 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 groups end up at the same location and it seems like there's some kind of a larger celebrity th uh, uh, there and um chaos ensues uh once uh the real demon uh demonic nun uh shows up so um ultimately i think that the uh, that the characters the main characters uh played by angie hansen carl grasso and uh cameron lant uh are comical uh with each, uh, each other because the two somewhat hate each other and then uh, much later <laughs> when a, a demonically possessed ghost hunter is attacking rico uh it's like uh they end up with some kind of camaraderie uh but um I, I definitely see that uh, there was some upped um, some upped fear level, uh, but to me the film turned out more comical to me and had me uh, laughing at the 
um, the situations that the uh, characters of Rico, Rico and Hun, uh, uh, Hunk and Becky uh, got themselves uh, uh, selves into with these two other paranormal groups. And uh, uh, that being said, um, will uh, any of these uh, paranormal groups survive the night? And that is the idea in mind behind this. I also liked Mark C. Fullhart's character. He kept egging on uh, some of the characters. And I, 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 I hope I see more of that from him in future films if I see him in anything else. Uh, uh, um, he definitely played a... It kind of reminded me of uh, one of the Italian... Um, a uh, policeman in like law and order or something like that uh but um in any case um definitely like and subscribe to my page hopefully you've enjoyed my description of this film uh, i didn't want to say too much because it is just coming out um and uh hopefully you uh, you, uh you'll uh you'll enjoy it somewhat like i did i enjoyed the characters uh involved uh, i enjoyed the acting on um, most involved, uh, uh, so um, there's definitely um, a level of having fun, and I can see that the uh, the uh, the people involved involved in William Calazzo's uh, uh, production uh, were definitely uh, there was definitely no strain on them uh, like I've seen in uh, previous um sterling productions sometimes uh sometimes acting comes off kind of stiff sometimes and i'm not saying that that's a bad thing but um uh, when you're stuck to a con uh, confined budget and uh, um you got a deadline to, uh, to keep with uh, with uh, so, uh, sometimes it can mesh not so well so uh, so in any case that doesn't mean that i haven't liked david sterling uh, productions before I, I i i have mostly enjoyed most of uh, david sterling's produ uh, productions he brings a lot to the table so in any case uh definitely like and subscribe to my page if you have not um check out some of my other cool reviews and uh hopefully you've enjoyed uh listening to my babble uh appreciate the uh time spent on my channel and uh ahead of time and uh have a great day evening or morning wherever you are i just absolutely enjoy uh describing films to uh people so um check the film out buy it when david Ster uh, sterling comes out with it i'm certainly going to buy it i just uh, uh, i uh, now that i'm getting to the point where i'm getting reviews uh ahead of t uh, time i just wish i could uh, uh already have it in my hand <laughs> in any case um check out some of my other reviews and uh, have a great day thank you so